It looks ridiculous. I'm sorry, but you look like a clown with that thing. It is ludicrous. She says, yeah, like a cool clown. No, like, no, oh. no, don't, 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 don't play the Pennywise card like you always try to. No, not a cool clown, like a ridiculous clown. She walks away back to the Arcanium and she says over her shoulder, well, there's no accounting for taste. Hi, today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this bomber jacket using Simplicity Pattern 8418. This video and jacket are Adventure Zone themed, but if you don't know the Adventure Zone, that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to be going over the tutorial. There are a few Adventure Zone parts, including uh, how I made the patch, um, that there'll be links to just skip over that. Additionally, there are no explicitly stated spoilers, uh, so no worries there. In terms of quality, I thought this was a really good pattern. It was pretty easy to understand except for a few parts, but I hope this tutorial will help uh, clear those, those confusing bits up. I was really happy with how the jacket turned out. Um, I only made one modification, which I don't go over in this video, but it's just adding snaps into the pockets so they stay more secure. Like if I put my phone in there, it's less likely that it's gonna fall out. But yeah, I've had the jacket for about six months and I'm really happy with it. I've been wearing it a lot a lot of compliments on it. I really like it. Um, in terms of difficulty, I don't think this pattern is that hard. I just say go for it. Don't be intimidated. If you follow the instructions, take your time. You're gonna be, you're gonna be golden. That being said, you should know the basics of how to use a sewing machine. I mean, you could hand sew it. You also should know how to attach a zipper. I don't go over the specifics of how to do that in this video, but there are plenty of tutorials. It's not that difficult. You'll need a zipper foot and everything. The same goes for a gathering stitch. Uh, we used a gathering stitch a few times in this pattern. Um, but again, I don't go over explicitly how to do that, but there are plenty of tutorials and it's not that hard of a thing to do. Just a quick note, the seam allowance on this pattern is 5 8 of an inch. That's pretty typical of simplicity patterns. Uh, so that's how far you're gonna wanna sew from the edge, um, except at the zipper. All right, so what are the physical things we need? Well, we need a sewing machine, unless you're and sewing it for some reason. Um, and we'll also need thread, pretty typical of any sewing project. The rest of the things we need are on the back of this pattern. I need fabric for the actual jacket itself, some fabric for the lining, some knit fabric for the collar and the, the bands around uh, the wrist and the, the bottom there. I'm also gonna need some interfacing. Interfacing is used to just reinforce parts of the jacket, um, make it a little stiffer. I will also need a separating zipper. Um, the pattern says use a 22 inch one. I believe the one I got was a little bit bigger. Ah, uh, that's okay. But yeah, I need to go get that fabric, so you know where we need to go. Joanne's. Where all your dreams come true. Got a deal for you. The first thing we need to do is pre-treat the fabric to prevent the final product from shrinking. Just wash and dry the fabric on the settings you plan to use on the final garment. Next, iron the pieces of fabric which need ironing. In my case, that was just the outer fabric. I also had to get the lint off of it because it was just a lint collector. Ironing your fabric is just going to make it easier to cut the pattern pieces into the right shapes. Next, lay your pattern pieces out on the fabric. For the outer fabric, you need pattern pieces 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 8. You can lay them out according to the diagram on the pattern instructions. Cut out the fabric along the edges of each pattern piece. When you come to a triangle on the edge of a pattern, cut out an inverted triangle. These triangles are just there to help you line up different pieces while you're sewing. 
If you come across any dots, mark their location with chalk. These will be helpful while we are sewing for gathering stitches, lining up pieces of fabric, and lots of other stuff. For the lining, cut out pieces one, two, four, and five. For the bands, cut out pieces six, seven, and nine. Uh, just make sure the stretch is going the right way by looking at the pattern diagram and checking the, uh, the marks on the pattern pieces. Now that we have all of our pieces cut out, we are ready to start sewing. To apply interfacing to the front band, match the shiny side of the fusible interfacing with the wrong side of piece eight. Then take a wet cloth and place on top and then press down with your iron for 10 seconds at a time. This will fuse the interfacing to that fabric. Pin the pockets on the back and front sides, right side to right side, and matching notches. Sew along the edges you pinned. Lay out the front and back pieces so that the pockets are facing out like this. Then pin the front and back pieces together and sew along this edge. Next, sew a basting stitch along the edge just to hold the pockets in place and also sew in a gathering stitch. Next, we're going to sew the sleeve front and sleeve back together. So just match them right side to right side and sew along the two edges. For this next part, you're going to need a ruler. Measure the bottom edge of the sleeve. Uh, then do a gathering stitch along this edge and then pull that gather so the new edge of the sleeve is two inches less than what it originally was. Just base that edge so that gathering stitch doesn't come out. Now sew the sleeve to the front and back pieces, matching notches and making sure it's right side to right side. At this point your jacket should look like this. Fold the sleeve band piece in half, right side to right side, and then sew along the edge. Next, we're going to do a similar thing to the neck band. We're going to fold it in half and sew along the edge. Next up, take that sleeve band and matching notches right side to right side, pin the sleeve band onto the sleeve by pulling it over like this and then sewing along that edge. While you are sewing, stretch out the sleeve band. Take the neck band and pin it to the right side of your jacket in the collar area and then sew along the edge. Take the small front band pieces and attach them to both sides of the lower band piece, right side to right side, and then sew them on. So you're gonna need your ruler again. Measure out the full length of the lower edge of your jacket and then use the gathering stitch we made earlier to pull the edges of the jacket so it's about one and a half inches shorter than the original measurement. Next, pin the front band to the lower edge of the jacket, right side to right side, matching notches and having the dots on the front band line up onto the seam lines of the jacket. Then sew along that edge. Next, we're going to attach the zipper. Take the side of the jacket, which would be the right side if you were to wear the jacket, and measure a quarter inch from the edge. Now take the side of the separating zipper, which has the zipper pull, and place it so that it's upside down, so the zipper pull is on the fabric. And then place the edge of the zipper tape so it's on those quarter inch lines. 
pin it in place, and sew it on with a zipper foot. Repeat the same process for the other side of the jacket with the other part of the separating zipper so that you can use it as a zipper. Sew the pieces of the lining together the same way you sewed the outer jacket together, with one small exception. On one of the front and back pieces, leave a small opening in the seam there so we can pull the jacket inside out later. Pull the gathering stitch on the lining so it's the same length as the lower length of your jacket. Then, pin right side to right side the lower band that's connected to the outer layer of your fabric to the right side of your lining and then just sew along that edge. Pin right side to right side the upper edge of the lining to the upper edge of the outer jacket, making sure that the collar is tucked in. Then just sew along that edge. Our IPRE jacket wouldn't be complete without the IPRE patch. I'm using an embroidery pattern created by Embroidery Easy, which the link is down in the description, and I just follow the instructions there. Next, I carefully cut out the patch from the fabric that it was embroidered on. Then I'm going to do a zigzag stitch around the edge to cover up all that white that was showing and just make the edge look a little more professional. Lastly, with the patch, pin it on and sew it on with machine stitch since we have left that uh, zipper edge open. We're on the final leg. Take the right side of lining and fabric and put them together um, and then sew along the edges with the zipper. This will close up our garment except for the small opening we have in the lining. Now using that small opening in the lining, pull out your fabric so the jacket is right side out. Going to finish up the sleeve. This part is a little bit unintuitive. First, make sure the lining and outer sleeve are lined up as they would be if the sleeve was finished. I then marked the underarm seams of the lining and outer fabric with a pin so I knew these seams were supposed to match up. Then, through the small hole in the lining, pull the sleeve, which is currently right side out, through that hole. really have a good way to describe this, but pin the lining and outer fabric and kind of shove the outer fabric in there and then sew along that edge. Then pull the sleeve back out again so it's right side out. Now all that's left is to hand sew close that opening in the lining. And you're done. Have fun exploring the planer system, friends.